Hi, I'm Mike Watkins. Hi, my name is Fernando Rojas. Hello, my name is Eric Crouch. 2010, April 20th, we were deeply upset with the oil spill that happened off the coast of Louisiana. Especially the methods used to clean the oil, which include burning the oil at the surface and also using a pesticide to sink the oil. By nature, I mean, we want to catch as much shrimp as we can and same thing when we was out there. We wanted to burn as much oil as we could because, you know, I mean, the faster we can get it out of the environment, the better chances we had of a recovery of our fishery. So, you know, all the fishermen felt a sense of urgency to get that oil out of the water. What made me really sad was that a lot of fellow fishermen, the, the ways they had to clean this oil up, the fishermen had to manhandle pulling this gear, pulling these, these booms on the boat. They were in Tyvek suits. It was so hot, they would take the suits off. And I mean, they were just getting covered in oil, and that didn't seem really smart to me. Fishing for oil is is a system that combines both shrimping technology and oil skimming technology to create one system that is safe, that is effective, and that is efficient. Our design consists of three major components. The first one are two door-like elements such as the ones used for shrimp fishing that hold two floating members open to help channel the oil on the water into the oil skimmer. The second is the oil skimmer which, due to its design with rotatory discs, can efficiently remove most of the oil from the water processes. Finally, the oil is stored in an external container which can be easily replaced to help fishermen be ready for action as fast as possible.